Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Wonderwoods by Blue Orange Games. This is a two to five player game that takes roughly about 20 to 25 minutes to play and is for ages eight and up. And in the game Wonderwoods, it is mushroom hunting season in the utopian wonderland that is Wonderwoods, and you are going around and gathering your favorite types of mushrooms. In this game, you are going to get a certain amount of information regarding how valuable each of the month each of the mushrooms are, as well as everyone else will as well. They could be one, three, five, or seven points. Utilize the baskets you start with to gather the mushrooms. Gathering mushrooms will generate you value at the end of the game. And once two of the four mushroom pools have been depleted, the game will end on that round and you will calculate your points based on how many mushrooms you have and their secret value. Don't forget though, you might be able to get additional baskets and of course gain additional information when people choose to gain those baskets. Let's go ahead and show you how to set the game up, how to play, and of course my review. Setting up the game at Wonderwoods is quite simple. The first thing you do is you'll take the four different mushroom boards and place them in a circle within reach of all players. Then, based on the number of players, go ahead and set mushrooms of each type next to their board. And there could be a certain number for three, four, and five players. Additionally, each player that is playing the game is going to be getting baskets. Go ahead and choose your favorite color and gather five of that color's basket and place it next to you. There are going to be four cards for each of the different mushroom types. Make sure you separate those into four different stacks. And that there is a one, a three, a five, and a seven for each of them. And then shuffle each of them individually. After that, go ahead and select one of those cards from each of the stacks and place them in their specific pool underneath. So for instance, if I wanted to have this blue mushroom, I would have the one, three, five, and seven. I would shuffle those up and then I would place one secretly under here so that this one is going to have a one, three, five, or a seven that is blue. And the same will be said for brown and yellow and black. The rest of the cards are then going to get shuffled together. Once you shuffle them together, you will then deal out a number of cards based on the number of players to each of the players. In this case here, this is a four player game. Each player is going to get three cards, which will deplete all the cards. So all the information is available, just not to everyone. Then finally, you'll take the first player marker and place it within um, with, uh, next to one of the players in the game. If you're not playing with a five player game, you would go ahead and set the rest of the baskets aside so that it looks kind of like this. And then you're pretty much ready to go. Playing the game Wonderwoods is simple. There are two phases in the game. One phase is the harvest phase where players are gonna drop baskets down onto these little areas here, gain the mushrooms and pass. And it'll keep going until all of their baskets are gone. The next phase is information exchange where they can choose to take the cards in their hand and place one or two down. And for each one they do, they'll get new baskets or more baskets so they can get more mushrooms, but they'll also give out more information. So we'll just go ahead and talk about the first portion. It's really simple, the harvest phase. The first player is the one who's going to start and they are going to be able to either pass or they can choose to take their baskets and place any of them onto the far left column of any of the four boards. So for instance, if the red player was going first, the red player can take one of their baskets and place it on this blue mushroom tile here and gain this mushroom here, and it'll go to their pool. After you've gained a mushroom, you're going to pass uh, for the next player to have a chance to go. And that player can go ahead and select to place down a basket on any of the four locations and once again, gain a mushroom. And it's gonna be the orange player, and the orange player can go ahead and select one as well and gain a mushroom. And then it comes to the green player. Now, what's also interesting about this game is if you want, you can go ahead and take more than one basket if one of these sections has been filled up. So the first column on this one has been filled up. So in order to get one of these mushrooms here, the green player will have to drop two baskets down in the next column, in which case they will get this mushroom here. And then it'll go back to the red player's turn and the red player can once again go ahead and select a mushroom. And let's say that the red player wanted the same exact mushroom they got last time. Well, it's gonna be more expensive. It's gonna cost them three baskets now. So you go ahead and place these guys down and gain a new mushroom. Uh, then once again, the blue player have a chance to go and maybe go ahead and place one there and take this mushroom here. The orange player is gonna go ahead and select their same mushroom they wanted before, which is gonna cost them two baskets now instead of one. And uh, then you have the green player here and the green player will take this one over here for two. And basically it'll just keep going like that until your uh, a player is not able, uh, unable to place any more baskets down for various reasons. The main reason is like this red player has one basket left and all of the one slots have been taken on the boards. So this red player will have to pass. 
uh, which in the case you have the blue player and the blue player can go ahead and choose. Now he has three, so he's, he can't place here, but he can place on these spaces here. Um, and he'll go ahead and select this one here. And now he's left with no baskets, so on his next turn, he'll have to pass. Then we have the orange player, and the orange player can go ahead and place over here, thusly gaining another mushroom. And the green player has one left, which means the green player have to pass. And everybody's going to have to pass at this point in time. And that is basically the end of the harvest phase. The last thing you will check is bonus mushrooms. In each of the different areas, you'll see who has the most of their colored baskets in the area. Red has four and green has two here, thusly red is going to get a bonus mushroom from this area. In this area, orange has the most, so orange will get a, a bonus mushroom. Uh, and then oh, we're going to see uh, over here is also orange, so orange will also get another bonus mushroom. And over here is blue with four compared to the green that is two, and so blue is going to nab an extra mushroom over here. That ends the harvest phase. You'll check to make sure that there are not two uh, portions of mushrooms missing, because that will trigger the end of the game. And if not, you'll go on to the information exchange. Each player has three cards in their hand to start the game, which is going to give you information in regards to how much each of the different types of mushrooms are worth. So in this case here, I have a one and a five of this type of mushroom, and I have a three of this, which means that I know that this has to be a three or a seven value. So each of these is worth either three or seven. And I know that this mushroom here is not worth three. So it must be worth one, five, or seven. If I want, as the first player, I can take one of these cards, place it face down, and gain another basket for next round. In which case, everyone else will have that opportunity to do so as well. You can choose to either place a card face down and give information away to get a basket, or you have to choose to pass. After everyone has done so, let's just go ahead and say that orange and red wanted to do it and no one else did, you would reveal all the face down cards and people would then have the information that this mushroom here does not, is not worth three points and that this mushroom here is not worth five. After that, you'll go back to a harvest phase and you'll just rinse and repeat these two phases up until the point where one of these uh, mushroom piles is going to be depleted or two of these mushroom piles. And once both of them have been depleted, that will trigger the end of the game. Another thing to note too is after the information exchange, you're gonna go ahead and take all the baskets that you had currently on boards and you're going to put them back into your, uh, into your pile. So you're basically gonna refresh the game so that you guys will have baskets in order to utilize for the next harvest phase. And that's pretty much the idea of the game. So you will go ahead and start back over at fresh and some players might have bonus baskets because they gave that information. And once the game is over, what you're gonna do is this. You're gonna flip over each of the cards for each of the different mushrooms and you will check to see who has the most points. And each of the mushrooms is worth this many points. So in this case here, we have uh, this card here. This is the, the blue mushroom, I guess is what I call it because the board is blue, is worth seven points. And this mushroom over here is like the red one, it's worth three, and this is the yellow worth one, and this is the black one worth five. And so I would go, oh, okay, I've got three of these mushrooms here, it's seven apiece, that'd be 21 points. And I have over here uh, uh, three of these worth one each, and then this one over here worth three, so that's gonna be six points. And whoever has the most points in the game is the winner. It's quite simple, that's how it works. So as you might have guessed, Wonder Woods is a quick and straightforward game from Blue Orange. It's, it's, it's family friendly and it also has enough edge of the strategy that way you can play with adults, no problem. Uh, I've played this quite a few times now and uh, so far it has been a blast. It's fun. Now, uh, the game is pretty simple and straightforward. There's not a whole lot of like different variety as to how the game is gonna play out. You have information and no one else does, but each player has their own type of information. And that's gonna tell you what things are worth. And you're gonna to have to guess slash gamble on what spaces you think are the highest value. You might have the three and the five for this area, which means it could be worth one point or seven. If you go too, go too hard on one space and it ends up being the one, you're probably going to lose the game. So it might require variety. But let's say that you have the one and you have the five in your hand for this one and somebody places the three to gain a new basket. Now you know this is worth seven, so it might be worth it to take all of these that you possibly can get. And that's pretty much kind of like how the game flows out. It just feels like you're trying to deduce what information players have based on where they're playing. You're trying to deduce uh, what type of uh, cards are gonna be hidden under here. And um, 
do you want to gain the most baskets in multiple areas? And you might not, might not, not the most points for each of them necessarily. Maybe you're getting an extra bonus for three, but uh, maybe this one here has been taken up to the third column, in which case it's going to cost you four baskets just to get one of them, and that might not, might not be worth it. Um, the fact that the uh, first player marker moves around, I should mention as well, every, at the end of every of these uh, information exchanges, it'll move around and uh, allow other players to be, begin the game first. Uh, this game is quick. It's it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I enjoyed this game. It's probably what I would consider like on the level game, like a solid six out of 10. I enjoyed everything about it. The artwork is beautiful. The game is simple and straightforward and it's very easy to teach. You understand the concept after the first round of the game. Um, I guess the only slight thing I have about it is during the information exchange, it just says you can place a card down, take a basket or you can choose to pass. I don't know if that means you can do it for two cards. like. I, I play one down, everybody plays one down, I play another one down, everybody plays nothing down, I get two baskets. Or if it's only once I can do that for each information exchange. It's not super clear, but that's pretty much the only nitpick I really had about the game. This is going to be on the lighter side of things. Uh, the, the setup takes a little bit longer than I would have liked it to take for such a simple game because there's so many little components you need to place everywhere. So you have to take all these and place these all out. Depending on the number of players, there's less of these or less of this and you get less cards and it just kind of got that little, that little bit of extra setup. It's not a huge deal and once you kind of get it down, it's pretty straightforward. And it's as long as you bag each of these individually up, that's fine. But overall, quality of components, excellent. Artwork is wonderful. <laughs> Wonder Woods, wonderful, makes sense. Uh, the uh, strategy and the light choices you have to make throughout the game and then scoring up your points, a lot of fun. Uh, and I just really enjoyed this game. My only minor complaints are some little bits of the rules and of course the uh, uh, they set up for the game, but otherwise Wonder Woods is a solid little game. If you like family style games with a light, light deduction, you're going to enjoy this game. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Wonder Woods. If you want to take a look at it, there's a link down below in the description. You can also go ahead and check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com. There's blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Hit that bell notification button as well. If we've earned your subscription, if you've been here and seen more than one of our videos, then that would greatly help us out. We do greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. As always, I look forward to gathering mushroom mushrooms with you in the Wonder Woods next time.